Rub up your engines! Today, I'm gonna to talk about the indestructibility of the old Camrys. In this case, it's a 93 Camry with a four-cylinder engine and an automatic transmission. Now, it may look a little beat up as we walk around it. And when we look inside, it looks like goats have been chewing on the armrest in the middle. And yeah, the paint's faded. It's got a different door on the gas cap. And here on the taillight, it even says crack. And someone smashed into the trunk. And the electric window doesn't work anymore. And you can see the hood on the driver's side, even though it's closed. <laughs> has a big gap from being hit. Where the other side is still relatively normal. But it still runs like a clock. Got 318,000 miles on it. But the air conditioning? Ah, it still blows cold as ice. And even though it's only got a four-cylinder engine and an automatic transmission, look at this. It still takes off like a rocket ship. It's got plenty of acceleration. And sure, it bounces quite a bit when you hit bumps. Well, hey, the shocks and struts are all worn out on it, but it still goes down the highway. Let's take a look under the hood. Now this was a luxury model, so it's got the pneumatic struts to hold the hood up instead of having that little rod on it. And amazingly enough, they still work and hold the hood up. Now you can see my customer's modified it. He's got these giant wires because he put a fancy stereo system on it. But the old Toyota alternator is still good enough to run all that power. Back in 93 when they were making these things, they over-engineered them. So they lasted and last kept oil on this 2200 cc four-cylinder engine they could run forever this 93 has got the original engine the original transmission the original air conditioner i mean they built those things to last and sure maybe they didn't paint them they could in those days saw the hood but hey it's still running and it's not rusting it's just corroding and check this out look at the headlamps 1993 they made them better in those days. Now when these first came out, I had customers that bought them and they said, we road tested one and we thought, oh, it's got a V6 or a V8 engine in it. And they opened the hood and see, it's only a four cylinder engine. That is one well designed four cylinder engine. Now they didn't sell many of these in the United States with the five speed standard transmissions, but years ago I had a customer special order one and that thing could burn rubber in all five gears. It was an extremely fast car, but it made him mad because back in the day, if you got the standard five-speed transmission, you couldn't get it with power windows. So he had to buy it with hand crank windows. And he was mad because he wanted power windows. But back then, they didn't make them. <laughs> now, they were a well-thought-out car, too. A cavernous trunk that goes on and on. And back seats in a Japanese car back then. They had a lot of room. You didn't feel like you were squeezed into a sardine can. Now, sure. This car has seen better cosmetic days, but it still runs like a clock. Heck, I got my youngest son one of these ages ago used. He ran it into walls. He even flattened all the tires one time. But the thing just kept going. It had a lot of dings and ripples in them, and I got a lot of parts from junkyards like hoods and things when he kept breaking them. Now, when we go under the car, you can see it's still got some of the plastic pieces. You can take them and throw them away. But the main thing about these are there's big solid metal right here. So even if you went over a speed bump, rather than hitting the bottom of the engine, it would just scrape this part of the frame, which is a great design on these cars. It certainly saved it when my son was driving his. The bottom of that thing, man, it was all scraped, but it hadn't touched the engine or transmission. And a big advantage, even if you own one today, is so many of the parts on them are interchangeable. You can get aftermarket door handles real easy. This has two different ones. <laughs> well, I had plastic radiators even back then. I had a guy bring one the other day. It took me like five minutes on the internet till I found one three blocks down the street at an auto zone. And it cost me less than a hundred bucks for a whole brand new radiator. They're still cheap to drive and repair. And being that old, the insurance on these things is dirt cheap because after all, they're just a four-cylinder engine. I drove one from here to Big Bend 
where the speed limit's 85 and I went 90. Once I got outside San Antonio and the speed limit went up to 85 the whole way. No problem at all cruising down there and back. Other than having indigestion from eating at a really bad Mexican restaurant near the border. These old Camrys were pretty much indestructible monsters with just a tiny bit of maintenance. And if you want to get the ultimate rat car, hey, an old Camry could be the car for you. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.